It's your boy Chip Days. Um, this the day after the event. Everything went great yesterday. Positive feedback. You know, I want to give a shout out to my man Milano D Town. Um, my dogs, me and my dogs entertainment. Let's get it right. Um, you know, nothing but love. Everything was good. I had a great time in New York. Uh, you know, it was real nice. You know, and uh, I'm looking forward to coming back. Um, I had a, a great time. Uh, the flight was really nice, and you know we landed safe safely. Well, I mean it was really nice. Um, you know the turnout was amazing. I think it was like uh, a thousand to two thousand people. You know everybody in tuxedos, and you know it had a nice formal uh, dinner. And I was, you know, able to come up and do the Black National Anthem, uh, lift every voice and sing. So, you know, it was amazing and it was an honor to be a part of such a prestigious event. Life after who? Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Um, well, you know, I was actually on the second season, um, and you know, to me it was it was a roller coaster ride coming into it, but uh, you know I made it through, and I'm able to like, you know, obtain a lot of work and keep working off of the hype, you know, of American Idol. So, you know, and I always ask people, did you vote? You know, because it's kind of like everybody will say one thing, but then it's like it's almost like, you know, not only voting for American Idol but voting in general. You know, how can you say something if you don't contribute, you know, to the overall voice? Is it 2007? Um, ooh, five, five years? Can we say two years? Yeah, that's five years, that's a long time. Um... <clears throat> Well, it's 2007. Two years would be 2009. Wow. Uh, well, currently I'm doing a lot of writing. You know, um, I've been able to work with a lot of quote-unquote name acts and, you know, uh, get placements and keep it moving that way. But, you know, I think this year I'm really looking to do the artist thing and, you know, uh, basically branch out and, into a situation to where I'm developing acts as well. You know, get into the movies and you know just just grow with it. So in two years, I say I'm looking to you know I'm looking to continue to do what I'm doing, but with growth, if that makes sense. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, but I think that's a part of the growth. It's like you know I actually had a, a opportunity to do some TV. And you know some stage uh, appearances, like I was in a couple of plays, and uh, you know when I returned back to Atlanta, I was supposed to go and you know do a play, but I got to call the people back. But it's like you know I think that's all a part of entertainment. You know it's kind of like you don't want to kind of box yourself in and get too comfortable with. Well, you know I just sing. You know it's like branching out to writing, branching out to you know some acting. You know, because it's like, at the end of the day, the only way to, you know, once you hit the bottom, the only way to go is up. <laughs> so, you know, yeah, I, I mean, I'm trying to, you know, touch touch it all. Well, I mean, you know, basically, like, you know, everybody had these strong points. And to me, it's an ongoing learning process. You can never learn too much. You know, and you can never learn too fast. So, yeah. I mean, what do you mean by being better? I mean, no, nah, I'm playing. <laughs> I was a joke.